Hello, in this video, I will introduce how to build an Amazon Web Service architecture, which extracts text data from your audio file. Let's imagine you have your conversation recorded and you want to transform into textual data. Amazon Web Service is coming to help. Imagine if we could have a system that automatically will be triggered when you upload audio file and return the textual data from this audio file in seconds. Amazon Web Service is coming to do it. What we will do in this lesson? We will create a Lambda function that will be triggered whenever an object is placed into an S3 bucket. Specifically, we will trigger a job within Amazon Transcript to transcript speech from an audio file placed into S3. We will use an Amazon Web Service S3, Amazon Web Service Lambda, AWS Transcribe. We will create a pipeline that ensures the system will work smoothly. This pipeline will work as follow. We will upload our audio file to S3 bucket. Then S3 bucket trigger Lambda function which automatically send information to Amazon Web Service Transcribe. And finally, AWS Transcribe will extract textual data from our audio file. Why we don't use just audio file to transcribe directly? Because we need to make the processes automatic. This is why Lambda is coming for. Amazon Simple Storage Service. It is Amazon S3. It's an object storage service. It's work like data lake. Amazon Lambda is a serverless compute service that let you run code without provisioning or managing servers, creating cluster scaling logic and maintaining event integrations or managing runtimes. Amazon Transcribe is an automatic speech recognition service that make it easy for developers to add speech to text capability to their applications. So again, as input we have audio file as it won. I am living in Lithuania surrounding forest and very good people. And in the final result, we will get a text data from this audio file. The steps that we will do in this video, create EAM role for Lambda, create Lambda function, create trigger for the Lambda function. And finally, we will test the full architecture. Let's go to Amazon Web Service and keep watching this video. Create IAM role for Lambda. Navigate to S3 and verify that you have created a bucket for this lesson. Copy the name of the bucket for your later use. Navigate to IAM. In the left hand menu, click Roles. Click Create a Role. Select Lambda as the trusted entity. Click Next Permission. On the Permission Policies page, search for and select each of the following managed policies. Amazon S3 Read Only Access. Amazon Transcribe Full Access. CloudWatch Logs Full Access. Click Next Stacks. Add attack with valves. Click Next Review. For the role name, use the name that you want. Click Create a role. Click on the name of the role to verify that it was created successfully. The second step is create a Lambda function. First of all, navigate to Lambda. Click Create function. With auto from scratch selected, enter the following values. Function name uh, you can use as you want. I will use a transcribe lambda. And for runtime, I will use a Python 2.7. Expand change the false execution role and use the following settings. Execution role, use an existing role. Existing role is lab lambda role. You can name it as you want. Click rate function.
In the code source section, delete the existing crawl code and paste the predefined one. Click Deploy. On saved, click the test tab and paste the predefined code for testing. For the name, enter transcribe lambda test. You can name your function for testing as you want. Click create event. The next step is to create a trigger for the lambda function. First of all, navigate to S3. Open the bucket. Click the Properties tab. Scroll down to Event Notification and click Create Event Notification. For the event name, enter Lambda Kickoff or something else that you recognize for later use. In the Event Type section, select All Objects and Create Events. In the destination section, click choose from your lambda function and select a function created earlier. Click save changes. And the last step is to test our architecture. So the first step in here is to hit back to the bucket. Second step, under object click upload. Select and upload your audio file. Click back to the Amazon Web Service Management Console and navigate to your CloudWatch. In the left-hand menu under Logs, click Log Groups. Click the log listed under the Log Group. Click the listed log stream. We should then see that start and end of the when our Lambda function run. Expand the log target records and copy the content of the log. From the Amazon Web Service Management Console, navigate to your Lambda. Click Transcribe Lambda. Click the Test tab and paste the content copied from the record log. Back in the Amazon Web Service Management Console, navigate to your Amazon Transcribe. In the left-hand menu, click Transcription Job and select the job in the list. Verify that the transcription was created successfully. I am living in Lithuania surrounding forest and very good people. Thank you for watching this video. I created this video in preparation for Amazon Web Service Machine Learning Specialty exam and I hope this video was useful for you also and see you on the next one. So bye bye.